Welcome back, guys. Um, today we're going to be going over the new awakening for the commander Barrett, which arrived in the last update. Barrett is a free-to-play commander that you can acquire medals from from the recruitment pass shop or the Weirwood Memories event, which comes once a month. Uh, upon awake, he has stone production, imp health, imp defense. Of course, upon awakening, these values will increase. Three stars. Here is his full hidden ability stats. So he's got some imp attack in there, which is added as well, which is nice. Great free-to-play imp commander for, well, for fighting in general, just for stats, um, which is great. Um, there's also good news and bad news about his four-star skill. The good news is, this is the first free-to-play commander that we've gotten for a while that doesn't just have something about resource production in their skill. Um, which is rather disappointing. Um, so that that's good, right? We've got something that is more geared toward fighting. Awesome. The bad news is it sucks. So every eight, every time your front line attacks eight times, there's a fifty percent chance to inflict a five second bleed effect, which deals damage equivalent to twenty percent of the troops' current attack. However, Barrett cannot cast active army skills. This might seem, at first glance, to be quite good. You might think about it for a few moments and go, huh, you know, that, that seems pretty good. It, it turns out it, it's not. Um, this bleed effect cannot stack. You can't have more than one bleed effect at once. Um, this is 20% damage per second for five seconds, um, which is better than 20% spread over 5 seconds, but it's still very, very low. Um, the overall result is that with a 4-star Barret, you're going to be doing about 75% uh, um, damage every 10 seconds or so, um, compared to at 3 stars, doing 260% with his just his normal active army skill, you'd be doing 260% every 12 seconds. Um, so, four-star Barret alone is very, very weak in terms of fighting. This bleed effect is phenomenally bad. Um, this is the first commander who is actually weaker at four stars than they are at three. Um, unless you have four-star Sonara, he's not worth four-starring at all. Um, two stars, you'll get combat rate in the tavern. Three stars, you know, you get the extra imp health and defense if you want to use him for PvP. Uh, he's great for killing rebel leaders, especially for uh, free-to-play or low spenders. But his four-star skill is very bad alone. Um, even with Sonara, the damage, that 75% goes up to about 100%, but that's still significantly lower than the damage you would get using his active army skill like a normal commander. So uh, that is where we're at. Um, you can uh, get Barrett tokens using the Elite General tokens. And that's pretty much it. He's, he's a good commander for combat rate, uh, for imp stats, and for killing rebels. But his four-star ability is very, very bad. Please don't four-star him unless you have a four-star Sonara, um, because even then he's very weak. And there are much better options like Gorel or even Rob. Um, so anyway, so that's that's his awakening. So I hope this was informative for you, and I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. What's love?